The most meaningful experiences that I've had in my brief time at Randolph have been those working outside of school. When Randolph says that they provide extraordinary opportunities, they don't lie. The time I've spent working on the best robot, competing in scholars and science polls, working on the literary magazine, have meant the most to me. I've met almost all of my friends through these activities. Every year, the head of school would end his closing convocation speech by reading Dr. Seuss's Oh, the Places You'll Go. The story's inspiring words made me ache for my own senior year. Even then, I made the connection between my education and the freedom to come in later years. As a junior, those words mean more to me than ever. They also speak to the security that all Randolph students feel. The teachers here care about every single student, and no one falls through the cracks. I've learned how to balance my schoolwork with friends, sports, and all my other activities. I'm so grateful to go to school at a place where encouragement and inspiration start at an early age and stay with you throughout your entire life as a reader. We have freedom with our choices, like if we make good decisions or bad decisions, and I mean, the teachers, they, they place a lot of trust in us, which I think is great. That freedom is really limited by maturity. Mm -hmm. uh, the more mature you are, the more trust you Every year, the fourth graders visit Williamsburg, Virginia to study American history. The governor's palace lawn contained the most grass we had seen the whole trip. We immediately, almost unconsciously, decided to play freeze tag. As we were falling about, I saw a certain look of pure joy on the faces of my classmates. In retrospect, I realized that I have seen that look on their faces throughout the years, and even now. It reminds me that our class and our school are united by the binding love of a game or just of loving life. We can always forego any differences between us, live and learn together in an environment where it's okay and even encourage to play some free style. We have the freedom to simply be ourselves, <laughs> and there's nothing more enjoyable than that. The shining lights and energy of Times Square seemed to swallow us, carry us away, and the hurriedness of everybody's footsteps left us no time to think about direction or destination amidst the swirl of taxi cabs and billboards. Where are we going, Sabita asked. Who cares? It's New York, I replied, and she understood. Football practice may not sound like much of a break. I can assure you that it comes as a great relief. From tackling sessions to two-minute drills, football is the only thing in the world on my mind for those two hours. I don't have to know how to factor a polynomial or when the Gettysburg Address was delivered. I can just go out there and play as hard as I can and let go of my frustrations. Randolph isn't just a school. It is like being in a big family. All these bonds with peers and teachers make it easier easier to express thoughts and ideas during class. I love the 100th day of school. I love the activity and it was so much fun. At least once a month in our advisory time, our entire group will have a six-sided argument about a political or social issue in our community. Teachers are like superheroes. No, they don't have superpowers or the ability to fly, but I think that supporting kids so they gain confidence and strength is fantastic. I was worried and a little angry. Then I realized that it was I who decided to sign me up for this class. After that, I started to make my own decisions about my art. The debate project was one of the best parts of sixth grade for me. I learned how to write reflections and be comfortable talking in front of a class. That has helped me so much this year. Now I'm okay with stepping out of my comfort zone, and we need to do that a lot in seventh grade. Blogging and geography helps us to really understand a topic and elaborate on our understanding and form an opinion. I can have an opinion here. I have freedom of choice. I have a voice. Randolph had taken learning outside of the classroom to a new level with Interim, and I felt so lucky to be a part of it. Arts was a way for me to, to really grow. Being with the Adidas Award has been the best part of second grade. I saw my senior buddies and I danced with the cheerleaders. Community learning was one of my favorites. There's no certain place you have to be. Like loads of people that from all different backgrounds all do various stuff like science or sports. You don't have to be a certain person to do all those things. You can be good at everything. I also think we also have an expectation because the teachers, like we said about the freedom stuff, the teachers also give us responsibility, so we have an expectation to handle that responsibility. Like jeopardize anything. You want to make sure that your teachers can trust you, even mm -hmm. if like they're out of the room and you're and you're like left with a bunch of people that are talking. I've become a stronger and more confident person, ready to take on the adult world. I am a learner. In the honor code orientation in ninth grade, I signed my name, pledging that I would uphold the honor code. That moment marked my transition from childhood in the Randolph community to adulthood, 
Walking by my signature on the wall every day validates the integrity that is the basis for the way I live my life. One of the reasons that we all love Randolph so much, even decades later, is because it didn't just teach us to be good students, it taught us to be good people. The football program, the Honor Council, my lifelong friendships and the relationships with my teachers have been the most meaningful of my time here. If I could do it all again, I would slow down and take it all in more.